it's much more complicated because you need to start to trust your people and you need to believe in them that they all do uh, the things that they're supposed to do uh, and to give them the space that they need uh, without this over controlling thing. Well, it's changed by 180 degrees, to be honest, because at the first month or two, or maybe more, I think, well, let's say a month or two, uh, uh, our work, especially uh, at the beginning, was 100% uh, COVID-19 related. So uh, it was all the uh, things about the safety, all the things to... Um, communicate to to the employees everything was focused on the pandemic thing solely so uh, it was just everything was dropped and the COVID-19 just took over the, the the place and we are still managing stuff related to it right now but um, it's last this time the dimension so so it's still not what I used to do and what the the team used to do but uh, but it's more manageable to make the normal HR staff and the COVID-19 right now. And our duties changed to the rethinking of our uh, HR department. So our daily tasks are structured. All the girls are doing the things they are good at. So we have a real powerhouse in here right now. The whole change that occurred during this, it's six months, I believe right now, was just a change for, for the better. And, and uh, I am super happy that it went out that way. I think when it comes to being focused, it's worth mentioning that we uh, had something like um, the HR room uh, in which we get the info how to stay productive during the home office. When you split into so many different uh, tools, uh, you start to get lost. And uh, we realized at some point that when we fill up those gaps, organizing our time with Jira, and we um, start to use it not only for a creating tasks, but also to follow, to communicate, to uh, keep in touch with our, I would say, customers. And when you keep all your notes and uh, drafts in Confluence, that's, all these things start to be more clear and visible as a process uh, to you and to your team. For example, we are preparing some big integrations for our clients and we created a room with our developers, with our you know, partners from other companies um, and with people who are directly involved in this process. And we are discussing in uh, this room, in the um, Slack, of course, uh, conference room, about certain topic. You need to keep in mind to uh, put all of this knowledge, all of these decisions, all of uh, information in one place. So it needs to be really transparent. So every single person that is uh, involved in the process, that they need to know where to look for the information. So. Uh, you don't always have to be everywhere and you don't always have to talk so many, like join so many meetings. From the perspective of a QA team, I would have to say also that uh, the cross-browser testing. This is, uh, this is a tool that allowed us to use other internet browsers than we have on our machines. So before, before the remote work, if we didn't have the access to a certain browser, we had to find someone with that browser. So we had to take someone else's time. And uh, before, before the remote work, it was pretty easy because you could just take someone, uh, take like five minutes from someone's time and it was it. But now you have to call someone, you have to find when they're available. And uh, that was uh, pretty uh, time consuming. So we came up, so we kind of came up with this tool and it was very helpful uh, in, in the QA process actually.